Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my drooling kitchen. Please, if you're new in this channel, subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you may be able to get more videos. I've uploaded a chicken, stuffed chicken, roasted chicken. Um, that's what that that was my last video, but um today is stuffed snapper red fish so please subscribe subscribe and enjoy watching this process of cooking this stuffed red snapper fish all the ingredients gonna be on the is down below so click on it and you're gonna get all the ingredients and procedure thank you let's get started check them out again we have two red snapper actually it's three of them Three red snappers. Three red snappers. Okay, right now we're gonna gonna um, season the fish. As you can see, ingredients we have accent salt. Ready? That one is sage. Then we have garlic salt. We have Lori's season salt. We have garlic powder, and here is the fish, all clean, washed, ready to be seasoned. So we start with the accent salt, sage, garlic, oh that's garlic salt. Then here we go. Oh, it can't be. The garlic salt sometimes um, it all crumbles together, you know. So it's very hard. It's like you have to really kind of fork it with a spoon or something like that. It doesn't even pour out properly, but that's all right. And here we go with sage. So just sprinkle a little bit, something like half half a teaspoon. Okay, that doesn't come out through the holes properly, so you just open it and you know, take a spoon and sprinkle it. That's it. A teaspoon full. And that's good. All right. So we have here garlic powder. Garlic powder is about a teaspoon full. Just sprinkle on it. It's good to go. All you have to do is the same thing that I did in my previous video, um, massaging it. So all you got to do is just massage it, rub all the seasoning in on the outside, the inside, and look like it's not enough really. So I'm going to add there a little bit of garlic powder, I like garlic a little bit more of garlic powder so that will be like um, one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder and we're gonna add a little bit of sage as well so it's gonna be one and a half teaspoon of the sage that will be like a quarter teaspoon of accent salt and then do the same thing, just rub it in, make sure that you rub it all over in the each side, rub it outside, turn it, and that is done. So what I'm going to do now is um, to cover it with this plastic cling paper, and 
I just seal it good so that you know all the seasoning can melt into the fish nicely. Remember this fish we're gonna we're gonna stuff it. We're gonna stuff it and then bake it in the oven. So here we go. Yeah the cling <laughs> the cling is kind of giving a little bit of trouble to just get it out. It's the way it started to tear to from the beginning. You can see like the edges is, is still kind of hard for it to roll out properly. So there you go. Okay, see? Okay, that's I'm losing that then that's good now. To put it back in the box so that you can cut it easily. There you go. That's good, ready to go to the fridge until when it's ready to be baked. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the stuffing. I'm gonna make the stuffing from scratch. So here is onion and butter. I'm just gonna brown the onions. And we have celery to go in it as well. We have milk, half a cup of milk, lowry salt again, garlic salt, bread crumbs gonna go in it all the seasoning that we season the fish with all that gonna go in it sage as well so that's what we're gonna do so we need to brown the um saute the the saute the onions and celery together but then now we're gonna add the ingredients which that one is sage we're gonna add a, a tablespoon of sage half half sorry not a table half teaspoon of sage and that one is low result goes in it there you go half as well garlic salt close in it accent salt I'll just sprinkle that a little bit there you go and give it a stir it starts to saute nicely that's that's garlic that's um celery and onions together so just give it a good turn and let the heat go through it and the seasoning that you just put in it okay here now we have milk Leave it for a few minutes and then you're gonna have to pour milk now that looks like it's ready for milk now there you go that's good a stir again and then just leave it on the fire for a while until it start bubbling reduce the, the heat a little bit I love making my 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 stuffing from scratch because I put all the flavors that I want so now it's boiling so we give it like about um, five minutes to boil so that um, the celery can go soft and nice so this time here breadcrumbs we're gonna add breadcrumbs to it so add accordingly slowly bit by bit while you stir bit by bit while you stir 
remember the bread breadcrumbs are gonna go go hard in the end so don't just pour it one time otherwise you might end up having it so too hard you need it like it's well it's still a little bit soft so you just have to add bit by bit little bit by little bit while you stir a bit by bit while you stir see it's now getting hard almost like um turning cornmeal you know that's it almost like turning cornmeal <laughs> i love cornmeal oh one of these days i'm gonna cook seasoned cornmeal yeah. but anyways yeah so you see it's going hard and nice and you don't really have to cook it too long anyways so it's just gonna be ready it's just ready now to to be for the fish to be stuffed don't need any more in there that's it turn the stove up and it's ready so we're gonna have to bring the fish now it's time to stuff the fish the fish is very nice season right now in and out So here we go. Stuff. All right. Give it a stuffing. Make sure that you stuff it all in, all the way to the neck. There you go. Give enough stuffing. like there okay that's well stuffed this is well stuffed but as with the chicken I don't have nothing to tie it with so all I'm gonna do is use um, much stick uh, not much stick sorry <laughs> toothpick use the toothpick there you go toothpick and it will hold the stuffing in both sides Stick it in, let it go to the other end, that's well, just push them in properly, and that is ready, so ready for stuffing, for baking now, and here they are now ready, they're all ready right now. And for half an hour later, this is how they look in the oven. That's how they look, almost ready. That's half an hour later. We give them another 15 minutes. And, and here we go. 45 minutes, they're all out of the oven. And that's it. There you go. And it's all ready. So beautifully done. Very tasty. Enjoy it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And please, please, please subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to click on notification bell. Leave a comment. Ask me anything. I'll get back to you thank you subscribe subscribe otherwise boogie monster gonna come get you <laughs> bye